So Garrett Cole, second of the American League with 20 wins, led the league in earned run average, makes his sixth career postseason start. Eighth pitch of the at bat. Cole wins the battle. So Meadows now 0 for 7, Joe, six strikeouts against Garrett yeah. Cole. And there are sometimes you just don't match up well, and he's got so many weapons, and that was just a nasty curveball. Had late, hard, sharp break, and you look at the depth on it, he just swings over the top of it. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good at bat. Troy strikes out to end the inning. 21 pitch inning, two strikeouts for Garrett Cole. Well, I look at this game, and, and for the Rays, try to win each inning. And I would give him a win in the first inning because they made Garrett Cole throw 20 pitches and Snell only threw 10 because the Rays bullpen is extremely deep. Garcia down on strikes third strikeout for Cole where I think when you look at the Astros they're more built to get six or seven out of their starters so it's a different formula for each team and knowing that Blake Snell only went two and a third his last start you know you're not going to get too much but. How about this little slider AJ what do you think there's not much you can do with that <laughs> 97 97 top of the zone and then oh yeah 89 mile an hour slider ball going away from you. Strikeout number four. Two outs top of the second inning. Cole strikes out the side on ten pitches in the second. Adamus awaiting the one two. Strikeout number six. Twenty one strikes thrown by Cole guys the last twenty four pitches. And, and, and some of them have been chase strikes but it's because he's ahead in the count and he's got that powerful fastball and he's got I mean this is a curveball. I mean he's got two different breaking balls. One just happens to be harder than the other. You see the spike with the knuckle curve there, and he gets great depth to it. And good job at Maldonado just centering that ball, blocking it. And you just tag the base run, that tag the hitter. Two thirds of them, usually, because he's getting 21 outs, are on strikeouts. You don't even really need your fielders. That's a seventh today through four innings. Strikeout number eight. Well Garrett Cole as we told you he has 270 strikeouts on his fastball and his slider more than anyone in baseball. And there it is. The one two. There is number nine. It just took him one extra pitch to get the next strikeout. He you thought know, it was the pitch before but oh, I'll just take one more pitch and blow a fastball right by him. Uh, uh, a lot of times when when guys strike a lot of guys out their pitch count gets up but he does it so efficiently four pitches four pitches four pitches three pitches and, and that's how good his stuff is. Ten strikeouts over the first five innings. There he goes, payoff pitch, strike three, throw to second. Strike him out, throw him out, double point. Well, AJ, you were right, and, and, and you look at this pitch, it's not a strike. The problem is it's ball four. And Diaz swung at it and as you know that ball away is always an easy ball for the catcher to throw because there's no one in your way. If, if it's inside you have to kind of clear the hitter but it's away and it's an easy throw and. He has not lost once over his last 22 starts. 16 and 0 and there is strikeout number 12. Right on cue Joe. 12 strikeouts six and a third innings. Just a perfect slider here from Garrett Cole. We've been saying that over and over and over again. And there's nothing you can do as a hitter except take it 
and hope Bruce Dreckman behind the plate does not call it a strike. I really believe his best chance of hitting a home run is on a slider, where, where it allows him to get the head out. Strikeout number 13 after falling behind of the count, 3 1. I mean, as we, we look at these two pitches, this is pitch in the 90s, 90 mile an hour backdoor slider. And then on this, this 100 with movement uh, above the belt. Strikeout number 14 matching the franchise postseason record. Garrett Cole becomes only the 13th pitcher all time with at least 14 strikeouts in a postseason game. You see the knuckle curveball there, and you know, I'd like to see that from a different angle. I mean, that's close. Tenth pitch of this at bat to Darno. Strikeout number 15 for Garrett Cole. Foul ball after foul ball by Travis Darno. 100 mile an hour fastballs, 90 mile an hour sliders, and he finally gets him to swing and miss at one. And he just stayed after him, and he kept throwing strikes with all those pitches.